Good day, mate. Uh, it's starting to get colder now. Um, did the hottest warm, the warm part of the day, probably about two thirty something like that. It's my jump, my jumper off, but it won't stay long. But hot, won't stay warm very long. So I always start work on this thing. It's a 395 XP, uh, all factory, all original, as far as I know. It's a woodyard bike's arm um, saw. We thought we lost it. Turned out I took it home, cut up in plastic bags to stop the grind hitting. So. Oh, he's happy he's got the thing, but um, yeah, I thought it was gone. Um, it's got a problem though. Um, so I'm going to pull it apart and find out what the cause is in the problem. I'll show you. So let's take a cover off. When we had the bar on here before, we're revving it up, and it all was pouring out. Um, coming down here, and just it was getting really oily for no reason. So I'm not sure why. So it's all over right now. I'm not sure why there's oil coming out of the oil pump area, but I'll pull it all off and have a look. I wasn't going to film this, but I thought some might have the same problem, but it might be a corrosion hole actually in the um, oil pump. So I thought, well, I'll show you how um, have show what it looks like inside, and see if you can see it, see the problem together. So, all right, I might blow this over compressed air out, and um, I'll get back to you. Hang on, compressed air time. Okay, turn it off. Oh, turn it off. Um, this could be an easy fix. Turn it off. Sleep. It could be an easy fix or not. Um, I've seen this a problem before. You hit the water. Corrosion, it's not a good thing. Um, I, I'd say someone's had this job in the past. He bought it second hand. I'll show you the details, I think. We got the stand. So you can see it closer up. Worth knowing. I have had this problem before with my Solo um, 690. The one there. I replaced the um, crankcase housing on the the PTO side. You see, it's, it's, it's red and hold off through it. I think this one's got the same problem. So, ugh, get, get glass and stuff when you do this, guys. Now, if you look at that hole, there's corrosion there. Then there's a hole through here, a hole through there, hole through there. I would say I maybe have a hole in maybe the oil pump, maybe. So, what's coming out here? Just by blowing it. Um, so I'll pull that clutch off there and have a look underneath that. It's normal. But yeah, I know it was all pouring out here somewhere, and I told him to um, turn it off because you don't want to do that. How is that here? Uh, if you cut down palm trees, they have acid in their sap, or, or alkaline, I think. No, alkaline. And it eats up um, into the alley real quick. Can't see nothing obvious. The oil tank's just sort of here, that part there. So I'm wondering if it's actual oil pump itself has died. Got a hole in that. So I'll put you back up and I'll get this clutch off. It gets me like, I don't know how people go, with nothing to do on board. Get it in real life and experiment with things, try different things. If you don't know, try something new. What's the point of living if you don't try something new? So, you, should, you have probably seen this before, we'll do it, see, um, on the camera. So, 19 mil. It's your left hand fridge, so you go clockwise and does it. Hopefully it comes off easy. When it starts coming, dang it, berserk. Just enough to undo it and one last pile. Otherwise, the clutches can go everywhere. With shoes. It's alright. Springs are all tight, roughly. One's moving. But that's still alright. I've seen them far worse worn out than that. That's still usual. Sorry guys, let me drink. Almost out. Okay, it burns a bit dry. But it's not as bad as I've ever seen. I've seen it's just dust. Room drive needs replacing, so I'll replace that for him. Because I'm a good boy. Uh, pull that off. <laughs> Have a look at the oil pump. Wow. You all see that. You all got to see that. So if I zoom in there, with a hole in the oil pump, I wonder if that's where the oil's coming from or what. So I'll fish out the um, worm drive. I'm going to do it. Um, Paul saw once the worm drive here, brand new, was pushed in so hard, actually actually causing problems with the oil pump itself, and and actually chewed at the um, the crankshaft still.
Come on. I'm sure it was clockwise or anticlockwise on the screws ones. No, I'm gonna pop it out. They normally um, come out just front of it and I'll be on them. Anyway, guys, I'll fill this up, pop it out. So it looks like um, turning it uh, in clockwise did make it pop out, so. Just didn't go far enough with the camera, it was just here. I should be able to grab that now. There's a, bit, um, a washer there. Don't lose that, you need that washer. So it's in one too. Just to suit that crank. The parts, now, is there anything sticking there? Not really. Only if I um, fill up oil and stir up, if I can see oil pop out this. Maybe, don't know. But I'll do that. Make sure you've got oil. Because when we um, had this going, it was full of petrol, full of oil. And um, yeah, we just ran to do. I think we might have bars, I think, long bars. But, um, I think it was after 28 inch bar, I think. But I'll stir up and on the film and um, just see if we, how we, we can. Um, do what was it was actually happening with oil coming out, but yeah, it's a lot of corrosion. So it's set up right. Got to get some petrol out of the um, G4 six six. Put in the tank on that. Almost full. Should be enough to start. I thought I had more fuel in it, so maybe it's leaking fuel too. More stuff to fix. Keep it going, pop there. Go. I'll do gas for that soon. Base gas. Base gas. I can start the thing. Right, get this back together. Put them all on it. So what I'll do first, I'll wipe the table clean. Because it might have a, sh a spring a leak and I won't see it until later when I start it up. So I'll make sure it's dry. I'll tear. Because if you're pulling out, you won't dry this stuff. If there's a leak, it'll come out real quick. And it should be all over the table. Yeah, it's still on there, so I'm not sure what's going on here. No um, thing to hold the um, oil can in off. There's some oil in there. Fair bit actually. So I'll have a look. But when you do a palm tree, or trees with um, very acid or alkaline sap, clean your store out, blow it real good, and WD-40 thing, or inox, or something like that. Some, some type of oil-based stuff to neutralize the acid. Oh, or, or screws are off. I'd say that's what's happened to this thing, but who knows. So is any oil coming out? No. Not really, no. The one dropping that was from filling, I think. Nothing's pouring out. Not how I can see. There's some oil there coming down. That's normal. Press the decon valve, turn it over. It should still have that there. The crank seals in there, can't pop out. Some soils, if you do start on no clutch, the um, crank seal can fly up. But um, I'm not going to have huge revs. It can't pump all in there because the, um, there's no worm drive, and that worm drive with a clutch spins that and makes it pump all. If you know soils, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. If it's going to pump out all, um, Say it's got a hole somewhere from the oil crank, the oil um, tank itself uh, to the pressure side of the in, in, engine cell. Um, it'll force the compression down into the oil pump, oil um, reservoir tank, and pump the oil back out here if there's a hole in the wrong spot. And I have seen that before in old, old source. They pump oil everywhere. So I'll try and start her up. Maybe my back will let me do that. Yeah, I'll right spot. I'll bring up once it's started up. I haven't been started for a while. I don't think it's a Husky um, full side. What is that? A Briggs and Stratton. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I'll fix that. Did you come there? It's on. That's a bit hard to pull over. Speed hose. And it hasn't, it hasn't been poured either. Yeah, it's something really wrong. That's not right. Alright, I'll fix this now. It's pulled the actual pull side cord out of the pull side itself. And look how long it is. 
It's not long enough. Alright, we're getting that pull start off the spare saw I've got in the shed. Now, this is the spare saw. I've tried to get it going. I know it's a real um, good idea to put your thing. It's, um, it's so worn out. Um, I'll pull this off there, fill the screws. Might as well, I have an impact drive from that. I do. Okay, but the other, this spare saw, all the holes for the pull star, there's one, um, one screw, the rest are all um, really big, out of spec, out of whack. Can't, um, I don't know if I can um, tap them because it's so out of whack that when you pull it, the cable comes out, mark around it, it goes back in. Yeah, it's just worn out. It's only worn out. I bought a new spring for this, it's been a um, spring, but it's no good at all. But I need, didn't expect this one to break. I really did not. I'm happy everything will stay in place where it should be. But the little it wants to, the plastic wants to come with. No, what happened? Stay, stay. Now you want to. In other words, every screw holding the top cover is worn out. On this one here, every um, screw except for one on the pull star is worn out. It's had a hard life. So I was told to be a part, so that's all bleed. Can't fix everything. I just want to spend a lot of money and a lot of time. That's back where it should be. That um kill wire back in where it should be. I was like you might be chill. Back in there. Screw driver. So I thought someone stole this because I had my shit. Silly, silly old bugger. Right, now that's that. I'll pull this other one off. Should be simple enough. Now there was one Allen key on that. I could have thought I had to fit it. And where the Allen key that there? Bottom mill. That one there fits it, that's all. So I'll um, transfer bolts and screws over. Should just pop off. We should pull the core back in. That's that screw. I don't want to cut my fingers, so I'll pound everything. Just pull the back in, like that. Because you're not happy. I can't work out why. Just, yeah, just it's worn out parts. So I'll put that in here. Get the screws off the other one. Make sure it's gone. So you can gauge this one here. I you can get to a gauge, but it hangs on so tight. I'm not sure what's wrong. But the bow holes are just they're big, they're huge. So we get the screws out. Oh, that's pause you for this, you want to see this. Let's get the screws. All I have to do now is tighten them up. And I should be able to try and start it again. If it's not full of petrol, the same doesn't feel right. I normally it starts all right, but it hasn't been running for quite some time. But the uh, other uh, 395 big bike called um, Chomp. We use Chomp, so this always is sitting there as a spare, being stock stand. Not, not used much. I try using this for a while, you get sore back. So it doesn't get used very often at all. Uh, we use a 372 most of the time. Or his saw anyway. Or my one of my saws, my one of my main saws. Right. Compare the <laughs> bring it straight to that. To me that's like an old um solo, a pistol grip solo. Very similar. So I'll try and start this again. I need it far off yet. Check it back on. Try it on. She'll start. She'll start.
I can see is oil spinning around on that shaft and it's blowing oil back out. So I'm not sure where that's come from. Not sure at all. So I'll put the drive drum and all that back on and see if it's actually come from that. That's weird. By the time I turn it off, don't use it. It's not, it's not pouring out the way I thought it would pour out. One of those weird things. So I'll put it back together. It won't drive. I'll wash it first. Back on. Drive drum. And we drive. Bearing. Put some grease on that. Don't forget to grease your bearings, guys. Just smoking myself out. Not a huge amount, just a tiny dab. That's all you need. You can grease it for the front, but I find you do it for the front, you might give too much grease, and that makes it even worse. So, just enough to where you're bearing up all like that. Just enough. So, it's lubed. I do that fairly often. Especially during um, really dry, dry Australian stuff. Needs a bit of grease. Put this drive drum back on. Not super tight, but not tight enough that they go flying across the chest. I do not want to rip my arm off or my face or something like that. That's any fresh given. Undo it, does it though. So I'll do that. Do a quick chatter gun. Undo. Put your call out a bit. When you. Yeah, I'm doing it back up. It pulls the handle back in. So how do you got it? And hopefully that won't come off. But I'll start back up again and see if all pulls there. It could be where the oil pump is itself, the um, piston inside the oil pump, or uh, I don't know, call it the uh, plunger. If that's worn out and it's going like that, if it's worn out in the circle part, it'll pull it all. So. Try that. Just a new oil pump, I think. It's pumping oil really good, but it's leaking. So, oh, there you go. It's all oil pouring out here. So, I'll pull that drum, um, drum back off again. It's all black. What I was worried about. But I can't tell what it's causing it. But I think the oil pump is just worn out. Okay, you look at that. All that black stuff there, that's not normal and should not be doing it at all. So as I said, I think it's a um, plunger in the actual oil pump. As it moves side by side, it's it point at all. That's I'm not sure why it's doing that. It's oil plus um, sap and stuff too, but yeah, new oil pump, I think. It should not be doing it. So when we put the bar and stuff on before, the reason I um, put my finger over here was to try and put more pressure back to here by blocking it up slightly because there's no um, pressure back pressure on that at all. And that was enough to make that start to um, expose there is a problem. But anyway, that's not a problem at the moment, but it doesn't need new oil pump. Right, guys, thank you for watching. Over and out.